Just Josh. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Just Josh. And today we're going to be talking to Lauren Mayhew from the girl band PYT. PYT was a girl band back in the early 2000s. They were kind of in the mix of the heavy hitters of Backstreet Boys and NSYNC and Christina and Britney. I really loved their album. I had their album, their singles. I had a big crush on Lauren Mayhew. And then I grew up a little bit and I found out that I just wanted to braid her hair and watch Disney movies. Uh, So the crush didn't last too long, but I loved them. Check out the interview I did with Miss Lauren Mayhew from the girl band PYT here. Don't forget to subscribe to facebook.com slash justjoshtelevision and my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash justjoshtelevision. Thanks, guys. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, I'm well. So, a couple questions for you. First off, what was it like to be, what was it like to be in PYT? about that was that you know I'd known those girls since I was I don't know practically could walk and sing you know and um it was really awesome being able to tour around the country and the world honestly um with people that you that you loved and you love singing with and um I think that you know when you do something like that it's it's a really cool way to be able to uh connect with someone on stage I mean we used to play games with each other and um contests while we were performing I mean unbeknownst to the audience of course you still talk to the girls from PYT um, you know what, that's actually the sad part. I really, um, I'm not super connected with them anymore. And it's unfortunate because of, they're all great girls and they're all doing awesome things um, in life, but uh, I am not very close to them anymore, so it's unfortunate. But, um, you know, I always, I think about them, honestly, often, and I hope that they're doing amazing. So your first big break into acting was with, um, was Raise Your Voice with Hilary Duff. Tell me yeah, about that. Um, that was probably, I mean, that was definitely the big first big feature film that I had done, but um, I was on a TV show as a kid that I did like 60 episodes of um, that was called The Reppies, and then I was on a soap opera for about two years. I played Mara Lewis on Guiding Light. Yeah. What was it like to work with a big star like Hilary Duff? She was awesome. Actually, yeah. it was really funny. I, I came in for the screen test, and she was actually at the screen test, which is pretty rare, I feel like, um, for like the star of the film to be there. Usually, it's just with like the producers and the network or, or the studio in that case um she was there and so I read with her and uh, it was funny like she told me um actually I can't remember now if it was in the room or if it was after I booked it but she was like I was a huge PYT fan I actually saw you guys perform in Texas which is where she's from which I was like oh well I'm sure that didn't help me get the I mean that actually helped me get the role <laughs> or it didn't, at least it didn't hurt you know and your most recent bigger project was working um as or with the WWE how was that uh, the WWE was amazing. Um, it was a really cool opportunity to get to do. I mean, you know, growing up, I, you know, watched wrestling here and there. I had a few, you know, guys that I liked when I was younger that were into wrestling, and so I think that was kind of my first foray into ever being able, ever just seeing it. But it wasn't something that I followed really closely. And um, so when I got the audition, I was intrigued by it more than anything. And then yeah. I, went, I went in and I um, and uh, met with them, and then I got flown out to New York for a screen test. Your first album was Mayhew, right? So my first, um, I went by the name of Mayhem. Uh, it was Mayhem, and I uh, it was I released. So I basically I I released music that I'd been um, doing for film and TV. I've licensed maybe almost a hundred songs now to multiple different television shows, from MTV to VH1 to Universal to Lionsgate, and also national commercials and feature films. And so that was kind of a collection of songs that I had been able to license to different places that um, people had wanted to hear, or whatever. Um, but it wasn't really. Um, you know, proper album in the sense that, like, I put it together cohesively, like, oh, this is me as, you know, as an artist. Um, so is that, do we see an, uh, an entire album coming out for you soon? Um, yes, definitely. Not super soon. Um, you'll see more singles come out for me first. I have another song that I'll be releasing soon called Shadow. But I'm really still working on um, my original single, which is What Is Love. Um, I did the music video with a bunch of UFC fighters um, that because I was hosting for Honda Center and I got the opportunity to meet a lot of them and to do behind the scenes backstage interviews with them. So you're having this big push with music. Do you have more acting stuff coming out? I do, yeah. Um, I just did a, a movie. It was a supporting role in a film called Eternal Salvation. Um, it's basically like a Wall Street uh, kind of movie that's um, faith-based. Okay. And um, I actually didn't, I had no idea what a large demographic there was for faith-based movies, and it was really awesome to be a part of something like that because 
just the overall message behind it. I mean, there's all these different things that happen, and the guy kind of falls off the path, and it's, um, you know, kind of similar to, you know, the Leonardo DiCaprio version in that sense in terms of the storyline, but it really has this underlying positive message behind it, and I just thought that was really cool to be a part of, and everyone on the set was amazing. Going back to my original question uh, uh, about PYT, can you give us a little insight about kind of what happened to the group? evolves and changes and groups grow and change and I was I think um, the only one before the group started that was in the entertainment industry I was you know on guiding light at that point I'd been on the show for two years and um, I think that uh, you know it was really interesting with our group because you know we'd gotten thrown out there at such a young age and um, you know, I think we were kind of all growing, like, in our separate paths of, like, what we wanted to do career-wise and everything yeah. else. And I think that some of the girls didn't even want to be in the industry, yeah. um, really, that, like, you know, maybe the entertainment industry wasn't, like, their main dream or wasn't really where they really saw themselves being. And as they got older, I think they kind of realized that. And um, so they kind of went their separate way, and I continued onwards, um, you know, doing all the entertainment stuff that I had always done and pretty much picked up right away. I got um, a show on NBC that I was recurring on called American Dreams. Um, so, you know, I, I honestly, the, the girls who still do music, I, I honestly, I, I hope they do amazing. And the ones that aren't, I, I think that they're happier. I think that they love what they do and that it's better for them. So. Yeah, awesome. Um, do you still keep in touch or do you still talk to Sarah at all? No, I don't. Actually, I would love to know what she's doing. Um, do she changed her doing? name. She changed her name now. She's she going by, um, Miss 86. I'll have to look her up then. Um, yeah, I had no idea. Actually, that'd be really cool to like reconnect with her and see what she's up to lately. Um, you probably actually know more about what she's doing than I do. Since you were really big in the pop industry back in the 2000s, I gotta ask you, NSYNC or Backstreet Boys? You know, that's such a crazy question for me because growing up, before I toured with NSYNC, I would have said Backstreet Boys 100%. Okay. But I mean, I have, a, I have a special spot in my heart for NSYNC. I mean, honestly, they are incredible performers it's, it's so hard to choose i don't know it's 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 crazy free free touring with nsync i would have probably said backstreet but after touring with nsync it's a toss-up i don't even think of choose. okay well thank you so much for hanging out with me today i look forward to all kinds of new stuff from you new movies new music definitely 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 new music um check out um what is love it's on itunes um you can also check out the video it's on my youtube channel I've actually been doing a ton of new YouTube videos now. I, I partner up with different brands and with different celebrity YouTubers, and I'm releasing um, new musical covers pretty much every two weeks. So if you guys check out my YouTube channel, which is uh, youtube.com forward slash Lauren Mayhew, you'll see new videos all the time of your favorite artists. So. Awesome. So check it out. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I'll be sure if I find out what's going on with Sarah, I'll send out uh, her contact information your way. Definitely, definitely do that. It'd be really cool to reconnect with her. All right. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you. Bye.